Hey guys, in this video, let's take a look at the new iPadOS 26 and its new window management system that takes cues from macOS. The new windowing interface makes multitasking on the new iPadOS a lot like a desktop operating system, complete with ability to move and resize windows and automatic fill and arrange features. These features are pretty exciting. Let's take a look at them one by one. From now on, whenever you are running an iPad app in full screen, you will see this grabber at the bottom corner. You can put your finger on it and slide it to resize the app's window. When you do this, you will notice that it will start looking like an app window similar to the ones you find on the Mac. You can set the size of the app and then open another app to use it alongside the first app. You can move the windows around by placing your finger in their header and dragging your finger around. You can add up to 4 apps in a multi-app window and move them around according to your preference. iPadOS also gets this familiar looking toolbar that lets you close an app window, minimize it and make it full screen. You can also long press on the green button to access more controls for moving the app window to one side or the other, align it to the top or bottom of the screen as well as fill it with 2, 3 or even 4 apps. When you tap on fill option, you will see that the iPadOS will automatically place the apps in a grid allowing you to multitask with ease. A great thing about this multitasking feature is that you can move content from one app to another seamlessly. So if you are working on a document, you can drag and drop text, images or links to another app. Another cool feature of the iPad OS 26 is that it brings Mac-like menus to the iPad. These change based on the app you are currently using and give you quick access to apps actions. You can access these menus by simply sliding your finger down from the top. Making iPad OS even more like the Mac, Apple has finally redesigned the mouse cursor to make it look like the one you find on the Mac. This small change really makes a big difference when you are using your mouse with your iPad. There you have it folks. This was our look at the new windowing interface of the upcoming iPadOS 26 update. Do keep in mind that this was demonstrated on an iPad Air 5 running iPadOS 26 Developer Beta 1. A lot can change when Apple finally releases iPadOS 26 for public in the fall. As always, we will be covering all those changes on this channel, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get updated about our latest iOS 26 videos. Thanks for watching.